All right. Icon Toolbox. I know there's a lot of reviews on these, but, well, not a lot, but just kind of show you my setup here. I actually sold my snap on and bought this. I had a KRL 722. It's a triple bank. Anyway, I do like this one better than the snap on. There are nicer boxes out there than the icon. Nicer snap on boxes, but I don't know how some of these guys can afford to, you know, a snap on version of this. I don't know, probably $40,000 or something stupid, you know. So I think I'm into this one about uh, 13 grand, I think, which I think is reasonable for the quality and the size. Um, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. So we'll bring you in and kind of show you kind of close up how I got mine set up. It's not perfect. I've had it for, I don't know, probably six months. So, you know, it's a toolbox. You're always expanding and reorganizing. And so anyway, show you what I got going on. I guess we'll kind of just go through the upper cabinets first. I like these because they're all modular, so you can kind of just put them together however you want. Um, mostly just PPE, glasses, stuff like that. You know, you got to have your uh, RC crawler in there. So the other thing I like about this box is I've still got tons of empty drawers. Manuals. I try to keep a notebook on every build I do, just so I got receipts and instructions and stuff like that. But, um, in the hutch here, I haven't finished up installing this light bar thing. I kind of just put it on there when I need it. <clears throat> I think there's a way that you set them up to where they shut off when you close the door. As you can see, mine's still on in there. Anyway, yeah, I ended up putting a power strip inside just so I don't, you know, I can plug stuff in. It's got plugs down here and USB, but I don't like when stuff kind of hangs over the edge because then it gets caught in the drawer, you know, stuff like that. So but I guess I do still own a snap on box. So, um, we're getting the side locker here. Kind of just all my kits. Uh, I, got, I got all kinds of AC stuff. Still kind of organizing. Got a scale, fuel injection, test kit. Pump I made up. I don't know. It's uh, some diagnostic crap. So, soon to be junk drawer, I'm sure. My sockets in the top. So you can actually adjust how hard these things kind of latch and pull. The snap-ons, they have like a grip lock underneath. You have to actually pull it sideways. These ones, they have these little kind of latches. So, and then, you know, the heavier the drawer gets, the more you can kind of you can kind of dial these up. What do they do? Oh, yeah, you turn them like that. The more you can dial them up, the more to where they stick harder. So, but yeah. Anyway, screwdrivers. Not a whole lot. Trim panel tools, just some random stuff. More random stuff. 
I use this one for the, usually I like that by plier drawer, like underneath my wrenches, but this was a nice deep drawer and I can actually, I like these organizers where it stands them up. You can get like triple the amount of stuff in there when you stand them up on edge like that. Hammers, pry bars. Oh, we got drills, tap, tap sets, all the oversized drills. I got all my undersized through my regular up to half inch and an index, but yeah, Allen wrenches, punches, drifts, some files, some measuring stuff, caliper, digital angle finder, precision, feeler gauge, uh, more measuring stuff. Oh, I got a little shitty code reader, some diagnostic stuff, uh, digital multimeters, temp gun. Oh, yeah, I got a. I don't know, we got all kinds of weird crap in there. Timing light, camera, Just some randoms. More to this side. There's my junk drawer. Everybody's got it. Some have more than one. Oh, burr bits, step bits. Just weird drill bits, countersink bits. Punches. Some of these punches, yeah, punches and uh, oh boy. stencils. This one's got a power strip in it. It's for like chargers and stuff. Um, I don't use those. This is for all your cordless stuff. I don't use that either because I got way too much crap for that one drawer. So uh, some of some carpenter type tools, nail guns, planer. Yeah, rotor hammer. Oh, my mag drill usually sits in there. I got a like a Hogan mag drill, annular cutters. Oh, we got just a bunch of specialty tools, Ford crap. Yeah, six liter power stroke stuff. Injector tools, injector cup tools. Some weird stuff that I made for something. Who even knows? Granite stone. It's <clears throat> a radiator. Cooling system pressure test tool. And I got this extra. I think it's a 54 inch over here. I got way too many sockets for just the one over there. So I got all my big stuff in here, all my three quarter, three quarter gun, all my impact wobblies, extra stuff, some big boy wrenches, and clutch stuff, coil over stuff, empty, empty, pullers, more pullers. Oh, filter wrenches, pipe wrenches, strap wrenches. Oh, we got dimple dye. Oh, this is all like basically I do a lot of tube work. So we got uh, dimple dies, knockout punches, dimple dies. We got these are tube, like oh, I forget what you call them, but they're for uh, pipe master. It's basically for drawing a pattern on a tube for coping. Bead roller, Furic bead roller, expensive but fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, more knockout punch stuff. Oh, what do we got over here? Empty, empty. Uh, cooling system stuff. Gauges, compression tester stuff. And empty. So yeah, it's kind of a quick, quick overview. Uh, so that's how I do my cordless stuff. That's why I don't use those drawers. I kind of just made that. I like it a lot better. So.
anyway, that's kind of how mine's set up. I love it. You know, I love Snap-on. I have all Snap-on tools at work. Um, you know, and you, you cannot beat them, but you know, when you're spending $30 for a socket that you lost, like it just gets insane after a while. So, you know, I'm not a rich man, so this is how we do it. Thanks for watching.